It is said that when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Today we're talking about snowmobile toolkits for beginners. Stay tuned. Welcome to another video. This is uh, another beginning beginners video and I talked in uh, one video recently about uh, having a toolkit with you, especially when you're riding a used snowmobile. Today we're going to talk about what I carry in a toolkit. All right, it depends on the snowmobile. In some cases you're going to need metric and in some cases you're not. On my Articat everything is in metric. All the, the handlebar adjustments and everything is all metric. So I just have a, I have some metric wrenches for that snowmobile. For this one, it's the opposite. It's SAE or whatever you want to call it. They're all, everything is in inches. So uh, I do carry a couple things that are universal. One is I've got, I've got a pliers, just any old pliers will do. I've got a Phillips screwdriver. I have a wrench that's probably not good for anything, but I do carry an adjustable wrench. Very important thing you can use for just about everything, vice grip. Just regular, this happens to be a 3 8 inch wrench because there's a lot of stuff on here that's 3 8 and I've also got an, a combination here is a 9 16 and a half inch just in case I need that. I got a spark plug wrench and the little thing that goes with it. Here's a, another uh, screwdriver, but this has got the multiple tips on it. So I've got, I've got all kinds of different things I can do with this one. So I always carry one of these as well. Spark plugs. Here's another vice grip. This little strap here doesn't look like a tool, but it is. This is a starting tool. So if for some reason the recoil doesn't work on this, the electric start doesn't work, this can be wrapped around the primary clutch and I can start the snowmobile this way. You don't see that very much anymore and a lot of people don't, don't carry it anymore. Um, this is the tool that I can use to change the belt. And finally, this happens to be a set of hex wrenches. Uh, and, some, and that in my, uh, behind you is my Articat and in that toolkit, I use Torx. I have one of these with all Torx bits because everything on there is Torx. This little wrap that I got, I got this at a hardware store or something or a fleet, fleet, uh, farm and fleet store. And uh, it was just a cheap wrap. That's what I would suggest. Okay, two more things that I carry with me at all times. One is I carry some trail marking tape. This is really good for um, marking things that you might find, especially in ditches, but could be anywhere. I've seen uh, fence posts show up on or next to trails. And uh, if something like that were to show up or there's a broken off post or something, put some trail marking tape on there for the next guy so that uh, they won't run over it. The other thing that I um, always carry with me is a tow rope. You can use any, basically any rope. Go to a store, get, I don't know, a 50 foot rope and carry that. No, nothing, I would say, no less than 20 feet. You think 20 feet is going to be a long distance? It's not, especially when you're wrapping it around things and, um, and you're towing, if you're towing one snowmobile to another, this is uh, at about eight feet, 10 feet, probably eight feet long. That's not long enough, That's, or just barely long enough. On this particular snowmobile, I carry one of these, and I also carry another rope that I can use for pulling a snowmobile out of something if I can't get to it. Um, you know, I, I always carry about 50 feet of rope with me. So that's kind of what I carry for, for tools. And for a beginner especially, I would carry tools. Uh, you're, if you're riding a snowmobile that you're not familiar with, 
you're not really sure if it's going to be reliable or not. Be, you know, when you get a couple of uh, good rides in, you'll feel more comfortable with it. But until then, you know, carry a toolkit. Carrying a couple extra tools isn't a big deal. I used to carry a socket set, and that's just overkill. You don't need a socket set. If, well, if you need a socket set, you're in big trouble out in the middle of nowhere. Because that means you got to, if you need a socket set out in the middle of nowhere, you got some major work to do, and, and you might as well forget it. Your best bet is to get towed in. So if you need more than this, you need to get towed in. So I hope that helps the beginning beginners, and I hope I see you on the trail.